We're looking at the cheapest countries to retire in Asia. Before we begin, there's a few side notes to cover. The first note is Burma is excluded from the list. This is due to the recent conflict making it unsuitable for retirees. Also, prices today are based on essential expenses and this is looking through many different cities across the country and does not include any non-essential living expenses. Therefore, looking at the prices today, you may wish to add anywhere from $200 to $300 on top to obtain a more accurate cost for retirement in Asia. Additionally, requirement visas on average are inexpensive annually across Asia, but prices, requirements and financial prerequisite levels do vary and the information can be complex. So these will be covered in future videos in much more detail and thus today we will be focusing on exploring the cheapest countries to retire in Asia but we will also be slightly touching on the requirement visas. At the time of recording this video, COVID-19 is still impacting immigration services across Asia. Therefore, I've added some links in the description below for the latest up-to-date information about immigration services and COVID-19. As always, today's video has been broken down into sections and timestamps, so let's begin. Taking our fifth place for retirement is Indonesia. The average retirement cost per month can range anywhere from $705 to $860. Numerous sources posted this year concluded that the healthcare and climate index is extremely high. This is tailored with a low cost of living index which benefits retirees who are thinking about retiring in Indonesia. However, some negative categories are things such as the pollution and the traffic, and this has resulted in a moderate quality of life index score. According to the official immigration department and the Ministry of Law, foreigners can indeed obtain a retirement visa. The official name is Temporary Stay Visa for Retirees C319. The duration of stay is a maximum of one year, but this can be renewed and also retirees must be over the age of 55 years of age. Taking the fourth spot is Laos. Laos's average cost per month is anywhere from 590 US dollars all the way to 725. Back in 2020, the UN declared that the population of Laos had reached 7.2 million. Despite this, Laos remains one of the least densely populated countries in Asia. What's important to note, however, is that Laos authorities do not issue retirement visas. So instead of a retirement visa, you will need to obtain a different type of visa, such as a business visa, but this can be renewed annually. Laos is an amazing country to retire in. However, it is not the most straight forward Southeast Asian countries for retirees. Third place goes to Thailand. Thailand's average cost per month is anywhere between $595 to $720. Thailand is perhaps one of the most popular retirement options when deciding where to live in Asia as it offers a unique blend of landscapes and living experiences for retirees. Unlike Laos, Thailand does offer the opportunity for retirees to obtain a retirement visa. The official length of a retirement visa in Thailand is one year. However, this this can be renewed annually. During the renewal stages, you may be required to present the exact same requirements you did during your initial application, and this is including financial funds. Second place falls to Vietnam, with an average cost per month anywhere from $555 to $725. There are many pros and cons to living in Vietnam, but if you are a beach lover who enjoys the city life, there are some fantastic areas that are increasingly popular with retirement. For example, Da Nang. Similar to Laos, Vietnam does not have an official retirement visa. However, there are options available for retirees who are looking to live full-time in Vietnam. One method is by obtaining a business visa. Aside from business visas, retirees also have the option of a visa run. Additionally, there are other types of visas, one of which requires working which may not be suitable for retirees. And the cheapest retirement country in Asia goes to Cambodia. Cambodia's average cost per month is anywhere between $530 to $645. Most retirees can live very comfortably, including some luxuries, on less than $1,000 a month. Cambodia operate a retirement visa extension. This means that retirees can extend their visa on arrival. This is referred to as the official ER visa extension. 
Cambodia's retirement visa extension policy operates on a standard point in time. This includes a 1, 3, 6 and 12 month extension. Cambodia retirement visa can be obtained directly with the immigration service or with a local agency. So what is the best country to retire in Asia? Each country offers a retiree slightly different options. Here are some examples. If you're looking for beautiful beaches and friendly English speaking locals, then the best country to retire in Asia is in the Philippines. However, if you wish your money to go further, you may be more suitable in countries such as Cambodia, Thailand or Vietnam. If, on the other hand, you prefer a less touristy country, then other Southeast Asian countries such as Laos may be an attractive option. One of the most wonderful benefits of retiring in Asia is that many of the countries have a diverse range of costs. So when you're deciding what is the best country to retire in for you, it is best to look at all the other benefits aside from the living expenses before you make your final decision. You can also explore nearby countries throughout your retirement. Many retirees do this not only for retirement reasons but also for financial reasons. 